One day, just like me, you will die too. What do you want to be remembered for? What can you do for others to make the world a better place? What is your true purpose on this earth? My definition of old is the day you start talking more about what you did than what you're gonna do, you're old. Go out and make it happen. Every day, get up and live, learn, love, and laugh. And go out and go for it. Seize your future. Seize your destiny. And live the life you deserve. If you run after your destiny, you will automatically distance yourself from your history. You got to get up early. You got to make a list. You got to show up with a great attitude and you got to get it done. I feel confident. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm supposed to do. I believe in my ability to figure things out. I will earn this. To truly succeed, you have to control you're thinking, but in today's digital, immediate media world, it's tougher than ever. What is your true calling? What is your dharma? What is your purpose? What I'm doing is not for right now. It's for the generations to come. So hopefully my life will stand the test of time. And whatever I build, whatever I sow, how I treat people, particularly those who don't look like me or come from where I come from or think like me or have my perspective, if I can treat them with honor and dignity and respect, if I can fight for their hopes, their dreams and their aspirations, and I can lift somebody else, if I can push one person into destiny, then all the years of my life will have been worth it. And then I can say with surety, my life was a success. We don't have faith in other people. We don't have faith in the external world. Situations and circumstances that are out of our control. When that happens, we sort of lose it. And highly motivated individuals like yourself tend to be control freaks. And they've made an association in their mind that they got to where they were based on everything that was in their control and so that they need to control more. And that's great because there are a lot of things that are in your control. But guess what? There are a lot of things that are not in your control. External circumstances, you can't control everything. External situations, you're not going to be able to control everything. Other people, you will not be able to control. You will not be able to change them. And we sort of lose it when dealing with other people because that is the biggest thing. They're not in your control. And so they have a free mind. They have their own opinions. And we like to have other people sort of buy into our way. And that's a way of being influential, but you're not going to be able to be on the same page as everybody. They're not gonna be on the same page as you. And that's because we all have our own opinions based on our own experiences, you see? And I want you to take a look at the, the world around you, okay? Just take a look. All right, this is an entire city. Look how many buildings are made. Do you know what goes into making a building? Somebody created this. A group of people created this. Lots of workers made something so formidable. You see? Businesses are established. Hundreds, thousands in your city that are established. These are all by people just like you, just like me. Right? So, can you, is it really fair to, to not think that other people are motivated and have interests at heart beside beyond their own selfish reasons you have to understand something in life you will not be able to do it all by yourself you have to place faith in other people i would not be where i am today without my business partner richie right so i owe a lot to him i would run through a wall for him just like he would for me you see and I want to be in the position I am today without my parents, without my sister. Lots of people who came in my life, friends. You're not going to be able to do it all by yourself. Stop trying. You need to place faith in other people.